made a trip to the new Dollar Tree, which is now Dollar Tree Plus, which is, uh, why, why, I, I guess they're rebranding their store, whatever. Um, they're basically, they're kind of turning into the old Five Below. Um, they basically, everything there is starting from like five bucks on down. I, I don't know. I'm working on a pile here of books that I'm still staining. Um, this bottom one really needs some more stuff done to it. This was a purchase um, from the thrift store that I work at. Um, I'm really only, I'm not going to actually do much to this just because creepy horse eye is rocky horse rocking horses kind of creepy rocking horses creepy what are you gonna do so this i'm only gonna just age this up a little bit do some brown stain to actually really accentuate let me see if you can really see yep you can really see the wood grain now but yeah that's a thing so let's take a look at some of the stuff i got from dollar tree I put batteries in this already, so let's take a look at the Flaming Skull. Oh. Oh, that's really kind of nice. That, that's good. That is kind of as advertised on the... It, it does actually legitimately look like there's a, a fire in there. That's nice. This is nice. This is worth the five bucks. The pumpkins were a little too goofy looking, so I kind of left them. But I'm glad I got the skull. The skull will probably be used to make some sort of ghoul. Um, tablecloth. Final tablecloth um, that I am going to put on my work table so I can actually work off of my work table and not worry about getting stuff splattered all over it. I mean, because, I mean, if you're making Halloween stuff... Stay in the theme. Cover your table with pumpkins. Okay, so there was a, a bunch of signage and stuff. It's They were actually all printed really nicely. This one is um, Fortunes. Um, I'm probably going to take this name off. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, just probably paint over it or something. Um, but yeah is good or maybe put a sticker over it I might just I could I could potentially just put a sticker over that make it look like it's part of the white glittery thing yeah I could I, I, I could probably do that I could probably get away with that but Madam Ella would not be my fortune teller's name but yeah there's there's a lot of fortune teller stuff this year which I am super super excited about uh, this Mystic Parlor of Oddities and Curiosities. It didn't really have a closed sign, which is kind of sad. Kind of tempted to turn this into a flippable sign. Paint the back. Fill in the staples and paint the back. I might just do that. It's just open, closed, open, closed. <laughs> They're fake books. Okay, so there were a bunch of these that are actually made out of pressed wood. I One was actually already pulled open, fully expecting them to be book boxes. They're not book boxes. Um, but honestly, I think you could just take, take a knife in there and slip it and then just get stuff in there anyway. I, I really like this. That, that's, that's, that's good, honestly. All right, what else have we got? Oh, this was, um, this was, uh, just in sort of the, the vases and, and fake plant section. Um, I actually want to, I have a bunch of fake plants and stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a fake terrarium and hang it, hang it on the porch. Put like, I don't know. Not sure what I'm gonna put in it, but I have like a, a bunch of fake plants that I can I can put in that. Super excited because of course you have to have plants and stuff along with all your potions and bottles. And speaking of potions and bottles, I mean, look, look at that. That's just that's just nice. That's just nice. That's nice. 
still, st by the way, buck twenty-five still. Like this was this was this was standard Dollar Tree buck twenty-five, or at least what's standard Dollar Tree now. Uh, let's see. That's that's actual food. Um, ooh, the, uh, these are kind of everywhere. Um, most of them are a lot larger. This one I like because I can I can make it look more like faux ivory. And make make all the designs stand out a bit more. So I'm I'm really happy with that. Uh, ooh, this was this was just kind of randomly on a shelf. I didn't ig ignore what looks like fake blood. This wasn't actually supposed to be fake blood. This is an accident from when I was painting something else. Just I just happened to be painting it red. Glass bottles. There was only one of this, and it was just kind of awkwardly just tossed into the pile of Halloween stuff on display. I think it was the last one. I, I don't know. Yep. Yeah, that's a fake crystal ball. Mm -hmm. You can put whatever in it. I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint the, uh, the cap to give it a more of a metallic finish, but... Oh, what else we got here? Um, do I have anything else? Oh, they have like a bunch of like Halloween fabric squares and stuff. They're actually fairly largely sized. Um, I'm planning on making like a bunch of like little bags with these things. Uh, did I, did I get any other Halloween? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. This one had a broken UPC, but I have a bunch of of the ceramic pumpkins that all came from Dollar Tree. And this was the last tea light holder. Well, it's gonna hold a fake tea light, but I think that's the last thing I got there. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that's the last Halloween thing that I got from there. A lot of the a lot of the decor at Dollar Tree is just disappearing quickly this year. It's just it's just gone. Um they were on the second box of these and like I said this was the last package of these and these were these were disappearing quickly these were there were still quite a few of these left and there were a couple of skulls but otherwise like this was this was actually the last of these um, there was one that had like a severely damaged like page thing um, but this was the last of these which is kind of sad but what are you gonna do but yeah, Halloween, Halloween haul from Dollar Tree.